What's up, guys? Hope everybody's having a great day. I'll tell you who's not having a great day. Paula Costa, who allegedly elbowed a nurse in the mouth over a vaccination certificate for COVID. So this happened on Monday and reports started coming out Tuesday morning. I mean, it's real. I mean, he's being questioned by the police in his hometown of Conagin, Brazil. The nurse who got elbowed in the mouth by Costa spoke to a local radio saying Costa showed up at the vaccination station and walked around for a few minutes before saying he had already been vaccinated when asked for proof of vaccination. And when Costa decided to leave the place and saw the lady was after him, the nurse said he threw an elbow that hit her in the mouth. And according to reports, Costa told a security guard he had been vaccinated, but the nurse refused to give him the vaccination card and held him by the arm. Costa allegedly told the security guard he tried to free himself and accidentally hit the nurse. So here's a little bit of background on this. Paula Costa, a year ago, said that he didn't believe he needed to get vaccinated because he already recovered from COVID twice. And he doesn't know the midterm and long-term effects of the vaccine. So he's essentially trying to get proof that he is vaccinated in order to travel from Brazil, his home country, to the United States. Because here's the thing, the CDC requires any non-U.S. citizen who is flying into the country to show proof of being fully vaccinated, and they have to test negative. So Costa would have to show proof that he has been fully vaccinated 14 days before boarding his flight to the U.S. And he has a fight with Luke Rocco scheduled for August 20th, UFC 278. Now, the civil police of Minister Rice did release a statement saying the suspect, age 31, and the victim, age 26, were taken to the Connage and Precinct, where they were heard by the police authority, which requested the forensic examination. At the time, the woman expressed interest in pressing criminal charges against the fighter, and the civil police wrote a circumstantiated term of occurrence, TCO, in which both sides agreed to appear in a hearing before the special criminal court of the municipality. Now, Paula Costa has came out and... Uh, sort of responded um, on Twitter. A guy says, tell us what happened, Paulo. We are the court of Twitter. And he says, not guilty. Another person says, show your vaccine card, Paulo. And he says, laugh aloud, I have not. But he did post a picture of somebody else's on his Instagram story. Costa also posted on Twitter a picture, a Photoshop picture of him and Jorge Masvidal reading Prison Break Returns April 4th. Then he says, call the f***ing police. And we all know that Jorge Masvidal is in trouble right now, currently, for allegedly punching Kobe Covington in the mouth. He also posted, they say cooks have some perks here inside the prison. Just saying I don't like burritos, Calbron, with a picture of Jorge Masvidal in uh, some type of kitchen-like garb. He also posted, I know how to do my f***ing self-vaccination. If you want to come and bring your card, please. Then he posts a picture of some guy being just like terrified of needles. Paulo Costa, if you do not know, he is a jokester on Twitter. It's actually pretty entertaining to follow him. But uh, yeah, that's Paulo Costa dealing with some uh, some drama, allegedly elbowing nurses in the mouth for vaccine verification certificates or whatever the heck you call it. Let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments below. Enjoy your day. That's it for this one, and I'll see you guys on the next one.